You got a flat tire. You got two? Nah. You got one? Hey what's up guys, welcome to Dirt and Iron. As you can see I got a flat tire in the middle of nowhere and thank god my friend Dallas was carrying all the tools and spare tube and pump as well. So we put my uh, bike on some kind of rack, use it as a stand and took the wheel off. When you do this make sure you don't put your wheel on the dirt, you don't want to get all the dirt into a wheel bearing. So I took my shirt off, my jersey off and put it under the wheel bearings. First off, you need to loosen up your uh, rim lock. Then once you have that, just start working around, uh, take a tire spoons, push on the opposite side of a tire and start taking small bites and little by little put your uh, tire you know, around the rim. I didn't have to break a bit because I usually would have to do that when you are changing a tire but since I made like two miles on a flat tire, my uh, bead around the rim was already broken so I could just uh, start removing the tire. Well, once you do like 30% of a tire, then you can start taking uh, bigger bites. Just go around and take one side of a tire over the rim. You know, it's easy to just take your tire to the shop and let them replace it for you. It, takes, it costs like $15, it's not expensive at all. But I suggest you get that skill. You know, I don't like to do it myself as well, but I do it every time on my own alone in the garage because I want to have that skill. You never know when you're gonna need that. You might get flat tire in the middle of nowhere where you are alone and you need to come back home. So this is really essential skill to have. That's why I always do it myself. Take your new tube and put it back in the tire. The tricky part is to put your uh, tube stem through the rim. So there are different, uh, different ways you can do it. Also I have a little trick Next time I'm in the shop, I'm going to show it to you. And uh, this tube is actually 21 inch. Uh, that's the only size we had with us. It's possible you can put it in 19 inch wheel, but of course when I come back home, I'll take it out and install 19 inch tube into my wheel. Another tricky part could be a rim lock. I also have a little trick for that. So next time I'm in the shop, I'm going to show it to you. Uh, you don't need any special tool for that, you just need to have your uh, spoons and then use it in a, in a way that you, you put your tire over the rim lock and then push the rim lock a little bit with a screwdriver. It's pretty simple and it works every time. It only took us like, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds or one minute to fit the rim lock inside your rim. There you go. So once you have that, put your tire put your tube inside the tire and then start working around your tire putting it back in. So start one side and then just, I usually just go like this and push it little by little and make sure that the tire will not uh, get out from the other side and then once you have that just start working around small bites again one by one. So once you come to the point where you are at the last uh, 10% that, that gets very tricky so again put the pressure on the opposite side of the tire take small bites and finish it just like that. Just be careful not to pinch your new tube, especially during those last 10% of a tire. Once you have that, pump it up to about 10 to 12 PSI. When, once your wheel is ready, put it back on your bike and you're pretty much ready to go. Alright guys, hopefully you found this video helpful, if you like it, give me thumbs up, subscribe and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.